Hi, I'm David, your developer on duty. NeoVim 0.8 just got released, so let's find out what's new. If you're like me and want a clean UI without any clutter, NeoVim 0.8 got you covered. You can now set command type to 0 to hide the command line. No more wasted precious pixels. So how does this work? You can execute some Lua commands, vim o l s equals to 0 for the last status, so now it's gone, but there's still this command line at the bottom, and now you can get rid of it by setting vim o c h equals to 0, and now it's gone. And you can concentrate on your source code. But don't worry, once you enter a command, it'll still be visible. For example, if I write this file, first of all, you can see that at the bottom, you can see what you're typing. And when you execute something which has an output, you can also see the output until you move along. Then at some point, it's going to vanish. There's now also the possibility to have a win bar, so a bar on top of each window, and the value of it is evaluated like for the status line. For example, if you set winbar to percentage %f, then you get the file name of the current window. I set winbar to equals percentage %f. Now you can see that each window, here are two, gets this bar on top showing the file name. In previous versions, NeoVim used the file filetype.vim to determine the file type of the current file. There are thousands of lines of auto commands to do this, hence it's one of the slowest startup files. Now in NeoVim 0.8 a new mechanism is used, filetype.lua, which first of all uses Lua instead of VimScript, and only registers very few auto commands to determine the correct file type. This gives us an improved startup time. And by the way, you can track the startup time using nvim dash dash startup time and provide some file. And with NeoVim 0.8 you can now even see the time spent in require calls. So let's just execute it and open the file. And now you can see not only the time spent when sourcing some files, but you can also see how long a particular require call takes. As you probably know, hitting star or hash on a word will search for it. Now with NeoVim 0.8, you can do the same thing for a selected range. The usage is simple. First you select some range, for example this here, and now you can press star or hash to search for it. Don't forget to press Ctrl L to clear it. You probably know that NeoVim has a built-in spell checker. With set spell, you immediately know when you misspelled something. However, in previous versions it was applied to all text, also your full source code, which you probably don't want. You want to restrict it to comments. Now NeoVim 0.8 uses TreeSitter to reduce the check text, and that means NeoVim will only spell check comments. So how does it work? You set spell, and now it will only check the comments. So for example here, sin menu is highlighted as wrong, which is fine, but the source code is not checked. NeoVim already has great support for the language server protocol. It's basically an editor agnostic external program which NeoVim or other editors can talk to to make sense of the source code. You can for example trigger actions like rename this variable or you can jump to the definition of some function. Now NeoVim also supports LSP based code formatting by using vim lsp buff format. It works like this. Let's say you have this JavaScript file and you want to format it. You can run lua vim lsp buff format. And now your source code is formatted based on the language server in the background. NeoVim has the commands map, command, and auto command, which gives you some information about key maps and commands. In previous versions, lua functions were represented in a cryptic way and showed something like bracket lua function 70 bracket. Now it shows the correct location, making it a bit more useful. So let's try it out. I run map, and you can see, for example, for space dd, I have now the location of my lua function. But that's by far not all of it. NeoVim comes with a ton of features, fixes, and improvements. Just look at this extensive list. Kudos to the developers who did some amazing work. Now, what's your favorite feature of NeoVim 0.8? Please let me know and post it in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.